So uh, tell us, you know, first of all, the, the evolution of the videos that you're using on Stumble. I believe it started out with uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. and then it's evolved. So kind of give us a little timeline about the video sources and how that's evolving and where that might go. Uh, we started with actually just about four video sources. Um, we looked at the top uh, ones on the internet in terms of traffic. Uh, so we had YouTube, Google Video, uh, I think it was Metacafe, and MySpace were the top four at the time. So we added those um, in our first release of some video, which was kind of in late 2007. Um, and since then, uh, we've actually added six more just a couple weeks ago. So we added uh, VO, Vimeo, uh, College Humor, uh, Break, uh, Daily Motion, which are the ones we just added a couple weeks ago. And in the future, we actually plan on adding several more, such as Blip. Um, I like to get Hulu in there. Uh, you know, pretty much any site on the web that has really good, interesting video content that's embeddable and has autoplay functionality, we'd actually like to get eventually incorporated into some video. All right, let me just ask you a basic question. What is the value to, uh, this is sort of a dumb question, but let me ask you, what is the value to the publishers in being in the stumble upon system? Uh, just you're going to get more views, uh, because then anytime, because we've got millions of people with a toolbar out there, anytime that they then see your content uh, and give it a thumbs up when they're just, you know, at their site, or if you have like a stumble link on your site and they, you know, submit the content through that, uh, it will then get traffic through StumbleUpon uh, users who are using the toolbar, but it'll also get included in Stumble Video. So basically this will be a way that, that visitors to StumbleUpon when they're just surfing videos, will be able to have your uh, content appear within the stream of other people as well. All right, so tell us a little bit about um, the advertising scenario and, and how and, and sort of the scheme. As I understand it, when people stumble occasionally uh, in certain number of stumbles, ads come in, or tell us how that's evolving. Um, yeah, that's basically our business model is to do kind of targeted uh, display entry advertising as people stumble. So right now, about one in 20 times, if someone um, clicks a stumble button with a toolbar and gets a website, it will actually be a sponsored piece of content. Uh, so an advertiser can come in and say, I want to target, you know, just users that live in this city that are interested in this topic, between this age range, and I want them to kind of see, you know, my sponsored content as part of the stumble stream. And then that content will get, you know, views without having people to click on banners or text ads, uh, and then people will actually rate the content as well. So people just get an idea of, you know, of all the different content they have in the system, what stuff is our community responding to the best. Uh, so it's a very interesting kind of ad platform. Um, we're not actually doing that with the video portion yet. We're just kind of monetizing our page traffic, because that's still the majority of our traffic. But in the future, it would be interesting to, as people just click stumble uh, and just stumble through videos, if we could have, you know, sponsored videos also kind of uh, delivered in the same way. So that's something we're going to look into in the future. I see. So uh, tell us um, about the growth. I know you've expanded us overseas and mm -hmm. different languages and kind of give us an overview on where things are now. Um, recently, actually growth is pretty good. We passed uh, 5 million registered users probably like a month ago. Uh, we just crossed our 5 billion stumble, which is very interesting. Um, it took us a long time to get to 1 billion and now we're doing a billion almost every uh, every quarter, like maybe 350 million per month. Uh, so yeah, it's probably about 10, between 10 and 12 million stumbles per day on average, currently. Uh, so growth is pretty good. Um, we're up to 30 people now. So pretty much doubled in the last year in terms of employees, uh, traffic, uh, everything. So again, let me ask you this: If I were a, uh, you know, as a as a as a publisher, are there any tips to sort of how to be more stumbled upon? I would say the two biggest things are uh, to we have a thing called Stumble It, which is kind of like you've seen probably dig it, you know, dig this buttons in a lot of places. We have a similar system where you can add a link to your site uh, that will let people kind of with one click review your content. Um, so basically, adding that to your website or your blog uh, on all your kind of pieces of content is it was one way that you will encourage people to actually enter it into. The the system. Um, the second thing is just to like definitely try to make your content fairly easy to understand in just a few seconds because on a lot of sites you know people will already know what they're looking for and they'll have explicitly clicked on things and they'll kind of know what to expect when they visit your content. Or in StumbleUpon they may be seeing this content randomly you know in between other pieces of content so you know the more clear that your header is the more quickly people can understand exactly what the purpose of your site is. If they can do that in two to three seconds and then look at your content a lot of times they'll get a little better re reception than something where you know if you take a first glance it takes a little while to figure out. Sometimes if people are sitting there for 5-10 seconds and they still don't know what it is, they may just click stumble again. So making your site pretty easy to understand and very clear what the purpose is, I think will uh, mean that when people stumble upon it, they're more likely to, to take some time and, and look at it. So it's so. going to have a good hook in a way. Yeah, a good hook and then if it does have a good hook, having that stumble stumble it button you know, above the fold in view uh, means that anyone who is a stumbler will then be able to click it and submit the site.